Hello everyone and welcome back to another Babylon Irons video and quite an interesting one that I don't know how much we can take for granted considering it's just like a rumour and the sources are very strange but Mauricio Pochettino is apparently interested in joining West Ham and he's had a change of his mind and if Moyes was to leave apparently he'd be interested in a job and I mean that is crazy if it's true again we're going to look into how actual credible that is very shortly but Pochettino at West Ham that would be quite the change from David Moyes but yeah let's look at the where it kind of came from and it's from Footy Insider on Twitter they put something out earlier today saying Pochettino's keen on the West Ham job should it become available you know they're also mentioning there that West Ham are going to stick with Moyes for now um, but this Saturday's clash against Forest is going to be vital in in his future at West Ham so I think every West Ham fan knows right now Moyes is living on very thin ice and this Nottingham Forest game has to be a win. If he doesn't win it, there is no reasonable justification to keep him at the club. But I really didn't think it would be Pochettino who'd be lined, you know, who'd be lined up. We've seen earlier this week that Rafa Benitez is another name that we've potentially tried to get and he wants more of a long-term thing rather than a short-term fix. But Pochettino, the man who rejected Chelsea not long ago, the man who's waiting for that Tottenham job and is probably close to getting it with, with how things are going with Conte. Very, very peculiar. And I, I really don't know how true this is going to be. But if you look at the actual article um, that, that, that was linked on Twitter, it kind of says that he would be keen on taking over from Moyes. Sources have told Football Insider. Now, again, take that with a pinch, pinch of salt. What are sources? There was no reference on there to where the sources come from. People can put that in any article and say this is happening. And you have to remember, journalists do this a lot to try and get views and try and get engagement. And exactly what we're doing right now, they've got the reaction. So just take it with a pinch of salt because there is no source that we can agree is reliable unless it's X um, saying otherwise. So they also said that the Hammers board are aware that Pochettino is available and interested in the job at the London Stadium should the club part ways with Moyes. So it would be it would be very interesting if this comes out to be true, and if it is true, why on earth have we not sacked Moyes already? Because Poch is a much better manager and would bring a breath of fresh air, despite his you know uh, previous links with uh, with Spurs. He would be a fantastic manager in, and is one of the best around Europe. So, yeah, I mean it's a very very ambitious move if we're going to try and get it. But again, we have to question how credible this source is because. Anyone can write this. And if you even look closer in this article, they didn't even spell London Stadium right. So you have to kind of question their journalistic integrity here. If they're writing something like this, it's often that it isn't double checked. It isn't fact checked. It's kind of rushed and put out there as more of a PR thing and more of an engagement or click driven thing. And you can see there, mispronoun misspelling stadium. You'd think that wouldn't go under the radar when you're publishing an article, especially as a journalist. Um, and, you know, myself, I've had journalistic background as well. I did sport journalism. So I know that people double check this stuff and it's very easy to, to regurgitate news. And they're trying to build up a platform based on their own stuff rather than just regurgitating news. So they've put sources from, you know, the Football Insider have have told us. Don't believe it. Do not believe it right now. Um, we can talk about Pochettino uh, potentially coming to West Ham once this gets confirmed or there's a bit more to it. But for now, this is just more of a, would Poch actually be interested in that job? And if it is true, I guess we need to try and get in our heads why it would be true and, and why he is interested in a West Ham job. You have to look at it this way. We are struggling badly. We are close to the relegation zone. So again, a manager of that pedigree, I don't think he would want to join, but again, we'll, we'll see. And, you know, it, there is the possibility with the with the ownership changing in the summer. So there is so much at West Ham that's up in the air right now that this makes me think that this is not true. Um, I could be wrong. It could come out later today or even tomorrow and X confirms that it is true. But considering Moyes has been underperforming for such a large part of this season and, and Pochettino has been available, you know, it, it would be strange for Pochettino to suddenly have a change of heart now West Ham are potentially available when he's rejected Chelsea. So, yeah, I, I really wouldn't read into this too much. Um, this is more of just a, OK, let's look at the source. And, you know, as we mentioned here, can't even spell London Stadium correctly in their, in their article. So, again, take it very lightly. But Pochettino, 
he is an excellent manager. You know, let's not get that wrong. He is an outstanding manager in Europe and upgrading from Moyes to Pochettino would be would be a very, 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 very big step for this football club. And it would be one solution to what we've got right now. But, you know, we've mentioned it before. Right now, all that matters is the points. You know, when it comes to Forest, every West Ham fan should be wanting to win that match for three points, not worrying about the future of David Moyes. You know, I've seen I've seen fans saying, I'd rather we draw or lose so Moyes gets sacked. But OK, you then get your sacking, but then without one game less that we can get points from, and we're one game closer to the relegation zone from, from becoming a reality. So, yeah, I don't understand that approach. I think when it comes to Moyes, regardless of your opinion, you have to go and back the team on Saturday. That is the main thing. We need three points regardless. So, yeah, I, I don't really understand fans' view on that. But if you think that, let me know in the comments why, because I'd be interested to hear your views. But, yeah, I mean, when it comes to this source, as we've mentioned, Take it very lightly because anyone can do this. And Pochettino is very unlikely that he's just suddenly turned around and said, oh, West Ham uh, might be might be sacking Moyes. Maybe I'll take that. Mm, I wasn't interested in Chelsea, though. It kind of doesn't make sense. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you be happy with Pochettino? I'm assuming majority of fans out there would say yes to that in a heartbeat and would take him in a heartbeat. But it's very strange how this has come around now, like two days before the match uh, against Forest. And, you know, there has been the links with Rafa Benitez. As we mentioned, he he's only interested in a project. Pochettino, let's, let's make it clear, he would be brought in for a project. There's no way we'd be offering him a short-term deal like Rafa. It's a completely different situation because, you know, Pochettino will keep you in the Premier League. There's, there's no doubt about that. With Rafa, it's more of a short-term fix. Um and, you know, Pochettino would come in on a long term basis with the with the intention to build the football club. That's, again, another another reason someone like Pochettino might be looking at a West Ham just because of the success we've had in the past two years. The players we actually have available right now and, and the funds that have got into the squad. And again, potentially could be looking or, or knowing of a potential change of ownership. And, you know, there could be bright things just around the corner. We don't know. It's like we have relegation here. But we also have survival and a completely new ownership and a new manager right here. Again, it's a lot to, to ask for, but it's not it's not that far away if you think about it. And someone like Pochettino might be interested in a project like this. So it's going to be very tough to get Pochettino if that is what we're going for. And he's interested is still going to be very tough just because of the situation we're in. And it would be a risk for, for Pochettino to take that if, if, if we were to get relegated, that would kind of lose all of his credibility. So I don't see him coming in now. If Moyes was to get sacked, he's more of a manager that will probably come in to a club in the summer. It's probably why he's turned down Chelsea, to be honest. He probably wants a club that he's ready to take on in the summer and, you know, as a brand new project. Same with Spurs. He's probably awaiting that to try and get that when Conte is either leaves or or, or kind of gets sacked at the end of the season. More likely to leave, uh, considering what he said in the media, but you never know. And again, it's that thing. You never know what happens in football. Crazy things have happened. And Pochettino would be an outstanding, outstanding manager. Let's let's just make that clear. And hopefully these rumours are true. Um, I mean, it's then a contrast because we don't want to lose the match Saturday. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. And yeah, if this does become more of a reality, we'll definitely analyse Pochettino a bit more and his style of play and how it could potentially fit in at West Ham. But yeah, take it with a pinch of salt. It is just rumours at this point. There is no credible source that's come out and said it's true. And Pochettino is as close to West Ham as Rafa Benitez is. And he is not close at all as well. So yeah, one thing left to say, come on your irons.